Okay, in the strawberry field in the spring, it's very common to get frost. The plants and blooms are close to the ground where it gets a lot colder because the cold air sinks, warm air rises, which calls, uh, causes what we call an inversion layer. So it can be cold, we can be 10 degrees colder down here in this bloom than you are at the airport at your local weather station. So if they're calling for 35, you could easily be 25 down here in the flowers. Now, we just had a freeze earlier this week and I wanted to show you, this bloom has been killed by the frost. These are what normal healthy blooms look like. This is a, this is a dead bloom. You see most of them made it through the frost okay. Here's one that didn't make it, the rest of these did. Now, I could have protected these if in a garden situation by just putting some sheets over them. It commercially, in the commercial field, what we do is we put out irrigation. You say, we, we, we form ice all over the plants. You say, well, how can ice keep them from freezing? Well, as long as the ice remains wet, it's 32 degrees. And at 32, these aren't going to be hurt. They get hurt at about 28 degrees. So if we can put a sheet of ice over these and keep that sheet of ice at 32 degrees, the berries underneath will stay at 32 and not go down to 28. The air here could be 28, but yet it'll be 32 underneath. So you actually save them from freezing by putting a coat of ice over them. In a garden situation, it's really easy. You just throw some newspapers or some, or some sheets over them and you could have saved. I could have easily saved this from any damage, but I wanted to have some frost damage to show you.